Hello there and welcome to the new tutorial where we will going to look at how to create Power BI area chart. So we will start with the first of all what the area chart is and how it is useful to represent the information. To answer this let me show you an area chart which is present here. Let me put it and if you see an area chart is basically an extension of the line chart which shows the information over a period of time like 2009, 10, 11 and 12. So it's basically the sales. So in the previous video when you have seen the line chart to show you or to view the trend information we just had one line but over here in the area chart we have multiple lines bifurcated by the product category. So that's why I say it is a natural extension whenever we have a query from the user that they want to understand whether the product is increasing or expanding or shrinking. That means if you look at the furniture which is this the highest level or at the top after 2011 the sale is sort of increasing but for office supply if you see compared to 2011 the sale is shrinking. So this is the information that it provides whether your product is basically expanding in sales or shrinking in sales and with that it reveals some interesting information as to how the product is moving and similarly in case of technology if you see the product sale is expanding so this is the interesting information it describes like over a period of time how the measure of your interest whether the sales whether the profit whether the hiring, whether the attrition is basically increasing, expanding or decreasing or coming down. So now let's see how we can create it within Power BI. So to create it within Power BI, what we were going to take is this option. And first of all, make sure that you don't have anything selected over here. So we will click over here on the area chart. A new chart is being created. Now the first thing is adding the date. So we will click on order a date and like the line chart if you remember this is the hierarchy which has been created and we can utilize this hierarchy for our benefit to go one level or two level up to the four level down which is day. Then what we will do is have the product category over here and then the sales information and now our chart is created. If let me expand that in or go into the focus mode so that we can focus on this chart. So clearly if you see we have this uh, the same uh, furniture office supplies and technology over here in each of these category. So it is showing you right now we are at 2010 what is the value uh, in 2011 what is the value and 2012 what is the value and clearly if you see like I explained earlier in comparison to 2011 in 2012 uh, office supplies is the area which is shrinking and that's the area probably the management need to see that why it is going down. So this, this basically calls for a next level of action or this is a sort of a story which you can take to a next level to basically help them understand in which area the sale is going on whether it is some product which is creating issue or whether it is uh, there are a lot of returns which is creating issues. So it, it basically creates that story. So uh, that is that is a separate topic altogether which I will probably cover in a separate video. But uh, this information is, is now here and we can go a level down. So if, if I just click over here that means the uh, drill down is active. So if I go one level down in 2000 let's say 12 I will just click here and in 2012 now here I am if you see in 2012 uh, when it comes to office supplies it has gone down to very low level over here and then it has increased right so it again if I go one level down in April then I'll just click here and it will show you the quarter information for April May and June so it's the same information which I showed you earlier and you are uh, feel free to play around with this which is one is this that uh, you can go one level down by enabling this as I was clicking on on a data point it was going one level down if I need to move up I will just click here it will move up and right now we are at the highest level which is year as you can see year is present over here which is the highest level 
The second option here, which we explored earlier in the line chart as well, is going to the next level of hierarchy. So after year, what you have is the quarter. So if we click over here, what you see is the quarter information. But this quarter, as I explained in the line chart as well, is the aggregation of four years, which is 2009, 10, 11 and 12. So keep in mind when you are looking at this information and why this information is helpful is to basically understand how the quarter one is over a period of years or how the quarter two looks like when you aggregate the information over a period of four years. So clearly quarter two is where usually your sales are down and quarter three and quarter four is basically the time frame when your sales are up. So it gives you sort of a seasonal cyclical or or a better trend as how each quarter looks like when you look at your multiple years together. Now, once you have this, if I just, you can go further down. Uh, so these are the different years. And again, you can go down up till the dates, but doesn't make a lot of sense, right? So if I just go up and uh, here in 2010, here, if you see, this will going to expand all of the quarters. Earlier, we see only four quarters, but if I click here, it will show you the each quarter along with each year. So that's the difference between those two. And as you will move, click more over here, you will go more level down into the hierarchy and you will have the visualization as per your needs. But that's mainly I wanted to show you the different options similar to the line chart which is present over here and how you can interpret and create uh, this visualization which is the area chart, very, very useful to look at the the categories uh, information, whether they are expanding or shrinking over a period of time. That's about it. And now I'll meet you in the next topic.